a lot of times you might consider creating a new project from existing template in Asana based on the pre-built templates that's already available. There are multiple ways to do it. One of the ways is click on the product plus sign here and another way is click on the product plus right in this area. When you clicked on the plus sign, you need to select project because this is what you will be creating. And there are three different choices. You can create blank project, you can use template, or you can import spreadsheet. We are interested to explore how to create project from the template. Most of the time when you're building project from the template, you already have a predefined work stream or a process, which you're just trying to track in Asana. Because of this, you need to select the project based on the work type or product, this is an Asana terminology, that is being used. And the good thing is that Asana supports most traditional work streams. Let's look at each process and each work stream supported by Asana, where template is provided in more details. The templates are organized in the popular section, as well as in the type section. Type section contains templates based on the process and based on the project type and popular section contains project templates that users select most frequently. As you navigate through the available templates, in the middle of the screen, you will see how your dashboard is going to look like in Asana after you select that particular template. It is simply amazing the variety of choices that Asana provides to you for the work stream tracking. Almost all the situations you can imagine in the work environment can be captured in Asana and tracked in Asana. There are different dashboards available based on the work type. For example, if you click on this drop-down box, you see that the types might be marketing projects or product, which was selected for us by default, where most likely you will be doing product in the agile or waterfall manner. You also have access to design project templates, as well as operations, sales, customer success, HR, IT, engineering, and cross-functional. Let me switch back to the product type and we will explore most common project types that might be used in your organization. So what is a product in a business environment? Typically, it is a solution which delivers value to the customers. Typically, you need a project team to deliver this solution. Some of the product samples might be building e-commerce site, doing a hardware upgrade for the organization or doing new operating system rollout. Typically, for these types of projects, you might consider building a project plan and Asana provides you with a good option. Also, you might consider running it in Agile and Asana also provides you a good option for that. For example, you might be doing sprint planning here, doing sprint retrospective and you also have choices to do stand-up meetings. All of this concept very familiar to people that use Agile. As we finish the development of the product, we might uncover some defects and Asana provides you a tool to do bug tracking for the defects. Asana also helps you support product launches because there is a board for that as well. And if you're a good project manager, you're always concerned about customer feedback and you're always concerned how can we get it, how can we track it, how can we implement it in our product. And for that, you have a customer feedback board as well. If your product has continuation, meaning that you will continuously improve it phase after phase, you might consider building product roadmap and Asana has a board for that as well. And if you have a large team and your project runs over many, many months, you might help your team members set team goals and objectives. And there is a board for that as well. Because of this flexibility and variety of choices, using Asana is ultimately an excellent choice when you're building your product because your product building life cycle is supported in many different dimensions. But for the purposes of this demo, I would like to select the product project plan and use this template to create a board. As a next step, you need to select the project name and I typed in hardware upgrade. This is the name of my project. And the last choice you need to make is decide on the privacy level. Do you want to make this project available to everybody on the team or make it private to particular project members. I'm going to keep this project public and then click on the create project button. As you can see, new project that was created shows up on the left section in Asana along with other projects that I have available. I specifically wanted to choose non-traditional 
hardware upgrade project because it doesn't really seem that this is a product. But hardware upgrade really helps you deliver new hardware for the organization and helps people start using new technology to become more productive. When you use template, Asana helps you organize work in sections. This particular template has a planning section, milestone section, enhancements needed, as well as results. You can view this section and pretty much all of this information in multiple different views. As you can see on the top, I am looking at this information in the list type of view. But you can also select board view, which mimics Kanban board. You can select timeline, where you can see traditional Gantt chart view of the project. As well as you can select the calendar view of the project, where you will see specific tasks in the calendar format. Another cool thing to consider when you're creating project from the template is that you can create organizational template. The best way to do it is save one of your existing projects that you built in Asana and make it and maintain it as organizational template, allowing other people on the team, other project managers, to use it when they create their own projects. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful and helped you to solve your challenge. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this and we will make sure to deliver it to you in the future. Also, please make sure to check out our free and premium resources on the website. All you need to do is to go to the menu section and select appropriate options. In addition, make sure you don't forget to look at the downloads in the description section of this video. I also recommend that you follow online training for everyone. We are constantly delivering new content to help you solve different problems and challenges. And I also have a favor to ask. If you know someone who would benefit from this content, please make sure to share this video with your friends or colleagues to help them solve their challenges. Make sure to leave your questions or suggestions in the comment section of this video. And all the best on your journey. Thanks for watching.